Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Tyler. Have you ever been in a situation or have been in any type of circumstance to where you are the peaceful person and you are the one who loves to create peace and you love to create love and you love to create joy? In other words, you are not a drama field person at all and you like to do right by people, but all of a sudden, it might be that you are around a person that might be in your household or someone that you might be hanging out with, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband or wife, whoever that it is. But every time that you turn around, whenever that, it is extremely peaceful with you or you might have some people there with you, might be staying with you, or it might be a different circumstance where you might be out somewhere hanging out. It seems like that same person Always love to cause drama everywhere that you go or even probably in the household and it seems like that it is on a consistent basis. It seems like that particular person loves to, love to complain about something that is extremely petty in order to cause drama and hell on purpose. Or to just fuss about something that ain't even ain't even a big deal at all. Just trying to find something in order to cause hell. Or you got or you got a person that is like always want to start an argument on purpose. It might be someone in your house or or you might be hanging out somewhere or gone somewhere. It seems like you can't even enjoy yourself or have a good time without that particular person starting an argument on purpose. On, person, on purpose in order to get you and that person's emotions flared up or the people that you might be hanging around with flared up. And it seems like it's just drama everywhere that you go, even though that you have tried your best in order to maintain the peace or you have tried your best in order to make it right so that it will not be a drama less environment. There will not be no trauma at all. And it seems like that person always bringing a dead dumb kumbaya drama queen or drama queen. Every time that you turn around and you probably sit there and wonder to yourself or you thinking in your mind or the people that might be staying in your household or it might be that you might be hanging around some other folks or whatever and y'all are like Oh, here come Drama Queen or here come Drama King. You know what we're going to be looking for today. No matter what you do in order to cause peace, in order to cause joy, or to have a good and enjoyable time, it seems like this particular person always do his or her best to destroy it. Every time that you turn around. And have you ever noticed that some people just love to cause an argument on purpose? on purpose, just for the love and just for the fun of it. Some people just love to be messy. Some people just love to be trifling on purpose, just for the fun and just for the love for it because it's in them. It is in them. And folks, if you are constantly going through this cycle every single time, it is in your best interest to have a talk with that particular person. If there's somebody that you hang around a whole lot, or it could be a roommate that is in your household, or it could be a family member that is in your household, you gonna have to start taking a have a talk with that particular person. And if that particular person does not want to change, or that particular person does not even want to make no efforts, or there ain't no signs of that particular person is changing, then in other words. You are going to have to make a stand to say within yourself, enough is enough. I am tired of this person's bullshit. I'm not going to be coming around here with this drama. I'm not going to be coming around with this hell. You're going to have to take it somewhere else. And then the best thing for you to do is do what you got to do to move in silence. When you know that you done done all that you could to make it right. You're going to have to move in silence. And some of you people who are like, well, Tyler, what if I'm in a situation to where it is hard to move out of this situation? And if I'm in a household, then damn it, you're going to have to strike back with positivity because drama field people hate positivity. Positive Positivity is torment in their ears. It is torment to their spirit.
They don't like positivity. And you're going to have to take a stand. You're going to have to take that hell with you out the door. Nobody ain't got time for that type of shit. That's what you're going to have to be like every single time. Until that particular person realizes you're not coming around me with that mess. Because it's going to be a drama feat. It's just going to be a drama lesson environment. It will not be no drama around me. It's going to be positivity around me. And some people, I tell you, some people are just like that on purpose. And I'm going to tell you, if you continue to allow it, folks, for someone that, who is filled with trauma and love causing trauma, argument and love causing, and love causing to create hell every single time that you turn around sooner or later, you're going to start acting like that person. If you continue to put up with that mess and then... All of a sudden, it's just going to be two causing hell to one to another one. Don't be in the kumbaya drama field land. You want heaven. You don't want drama. So, I'm going to go on ahead and cut this video short. I know, I know, there are going to be a lot of haters who ain't going to like this truth. They ain't going to enjoy this truth. Because you know why? Because it's either in them or they're doing it them, or they're either doing it themselves. And then when it hits them, it's something that they're doing around the scenes and they don't even want to look at themselves at all. But that's how some people are though. That's how some people are. That is how most people are. Folks, you ain't got time for being constantly around a drama-filled person. You ain't got time for that crap. You ain't got time to be around someone who is always creating hell every time that you turn around being extremely petty about in and everything. And then this is the same person. Sometimes you can't even tell them shit whenever that you ever talk with them. But anyway, I'm going to go on ahead and cut this video short. Think about from what I said.